Sasha. way to go before you break my menacing record. Uh, 57 pranks in one day. Wow! Do you carry that with you everywhere? <laughs> Better polish up that trophy, Gran, because I'm going to win it. <laughs> gotcha, Menace. You're in big trouble now. Oh, I'm sorry, Parky. It was me, I'm afraid. I was feeding the birdies, but at my my eyesight's not what it was. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, well, that's an honest mistake. Could happen to anyone. <laughs> Very sorry to have bothered you. Bye. And that's another reason I'm better at pranks than you. I get away with mine. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Let's get him. Get him. Run. Uh, uh, where'd he go? Uh, oh, oh well. <laughs> Good disguise, Nasha. But how can we beat Grant's pranking record with everyone on the lookout for us? It's easy for her. No one suspects a sweet old lady. <gasps> That's it! <gasps> Come on, Nasha! I know how we'll win Grant's trophy! <laughs> We have to work with. Uh, I've got Dad's old suit, Mum's scarf and sunglasses, some talcum powder, <laughs> and you fetched a table leg to make a walking stick. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> oh, that's oh. time for a menace makeover. Uh, oh. oh, hello. Is Dennis in? Oh, Dennis has gone out. I'm afraid it's just me and my faithful dog. Gumma. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, you brought him a pie. How thoughtful. <coughs> no, me pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Brilliant. If you don't recognize me, then no one will. But why? So I can break Grand's menacing record. No, I mean, why'd you give Nasha me pie? <laughs> 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 Dennis. Hmm. 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 Vino Town really needs to do something about those pigeons. <laughs> That's prank number one. Menacing record. Here we come. Good day, officer. And a very good day to you, kindly old gentleman. May I offer you one of my sweets as a thank you for keeping Beano Town free of menaces? <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Huh. It's an old family recipe. Extra sticky toffees. Oh, it's very... <laughs> made with red hot chilies. <laughs> mm. Looks like you could use a drink to wash them down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mention it. <laughs> Another two pranks done, only 55 more to go. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Huh? Can you help us cross this street? Yes, of course, sir. <laughs> oh, dear, I forgot I need to go to the shops. Oh. <laughs> oh, was I on the way to Bingo? Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Maybe I should pop in to see my cousin Beryl first. Huh? After I've returned my library book, done with the opticians, after that. <laughs> in a can at the supermarket makes 28. Over halfway there. <laughs> We're bound to beat the record. <gasps> and look, there's Gran. And a chance for another prank. <laughs> oh, I see you like flowers, madam. Perhaps you'd care to take a look at the one in my buttonhole. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Got you, Gran. <laughs> Dennis? No one suspects us old people of being menaces. That record is in the bag. Well, I'm impressed. Congratulations. <laughs> Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, the only person who's going to beat my record is me. It is on. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Oh. Oh, excuse me, I think you've got my false teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the print in this menu is far too small. Makes my eyes go funny. <laughs> Something. Why is old people are nearly as bad as Dennis? What's that, Sarge? Old folks running a mocking bean or town. I'm on it. I've matched your record at 57 pranks, Gran. Just one more, and I'll break it. Oh, yeah? Well, I only need one more prank to set a new record. Here they are! Let's get them. What's the problem, officer? I was just out doing a bit of shopping. She's been pulling pranks all over Beano Town. No, no, no. I'm just a sweet old lady. <laughs> <laughs> you better come with me. Oh, no. Looks like Gran's in real trouble this time. And there's the other one. Only one way to save Gran. That's right. I'm the Beano Town prankster. But <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dennis the Menace! The one and only! <laughs> I've had half the town complaining about you, Dennis. You're grounded for a month. After all that, we didn't even break Gran's record. Don't be so sure. Huh? But I never finished my last prank. Yes, you did. Your old man disguise was one of the best pranks I have ever seen. On the record for the most pranks in a day with a whopping 58 pranks is yours. Woohoo! <laughs> Yes! Oh, thanks, Gran. Well, thank you for taking the heat off me. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Gran! Well, I've got to start setting a new record. Well. <laughs> 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 
back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. OK, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! Brilliant! Uh. Oh, it's Dennis! Oh, oh, oh. My face! Sorry. Fallen, fallen. Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir. Dennis, sir. Yes, uh, No, uh, What's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs. So, Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. <laughs> Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Better get back to your sick bed. Right. <sighs> oh. Here we are, son. All right. I, I mean, thanks, Dad. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> Oh, must be the, uh, all the dog airs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> oh. This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing that show. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss my slippers being half-chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's... Peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <gasps> I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? <sighs> it's time for Plan B. <laughs> oh, dear! I seem to have dropped my sausages. I hope there are no horrible dogs about. Uh, woof, woof, woof. Uh... Etc. Etc. Oi, you nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Oh, easy, mate! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages. Naughty dog! Naughty! Naughty dog! Oh, oh my face! All right, dog. Let's be having you, you little 
troublemaker. Hey, what the? Oh. Ha! Ruff! Ruff! Here I am, in the van. Wolf! Wolf! Best place for you, naughty sausage thief! Oh, right, who did that? It was a naughty boy, a very naughty boy! Oh, it was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground the mints myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where? Where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a flight of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> 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 And when you've eaten your num nums, Ooh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. I'm grateful, mongrel. Uh, I'll choose a new favourite doggy. Oh. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. <laughs> Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what 
you want, Curly? It's Saturday. Yeah, and guess what? The fair's in town. The fair? Give me five minutes. Choo-choo, <laughs> here comes the train bee. <laughs> Good girl, Bean. <laughs> Dennis, that's disgusting. Oh, no. Sit down and eat properly. No time, Mum. I I'm meeting Curly and Pie Face at the fair. Oh, no, you're not. I need you to look after Bee while I'm at my relaxation class. Oh, Mum, can you take her with you? Well, that wouldn't be very relaxing, would it? Yeah, it'd be fine. Bee could chill out too, couldn't you, Bee? <laughs> See? She said yes. No more argument, Dennis. It won't hurt you to look after your little sister for a couple of hours. But, Mum, I want to go to the fair. Well, you'll just have to take her with you. <laughs> what are we doing first, Dennis? Coconut shy. Remember all the great stuff we won last year? <laughs> Yes, uh, new regulations, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. Uh, I mean, injuring yourselves. Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems! Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind fun, you just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pie Face, there are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, son. Health and safety, innit? More than me job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Cause chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We were only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, you can have yeah. a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that! <laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and Bouncy Castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Go on, Bouncy Castle. Hoppy do a poo! <laughs> 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 
Hey, B, look, it's not my fault. You just can't. Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. Must have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, Bee? Bee? <laughs> Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't I going to like? Bee? <laughs> flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. another class for next week, so I might want you to look after Bee again. That's all right, Mum. Bee's no trouble. Are you, Bee? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy <gasps> yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> uh, 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 I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. Oh, Dennis! <laughs> OK, Nasha. Almost ready for the big launch. Huh? <laughs> These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. 
its mission to seek out strange new softies and menace them to boldly go where no mutt has gone before. There's only enough power in the elastic to send one small Abyssinian tripound into orbit. Good luck, Nasher old chum. Happy landings! So every one of us must pull together in an effort to recycle and find new ways to create alternative sources of energy. Let us make Beano Town Greeno Town. The mayor is absolutely right. Yes, we all need to do our bit to save the planet. I shall be moving amongst you, looking for the most eco-friendly, energy-saving citizen in Beano Town. <laughs> What's happened to the TV? It's simply super, Walter. Entertaining and energy efficient. This will make everybody sit up and take notice. <laughs> you maniac! Look what you've done! Keep your hair on, Walter. I was just testing out my new rocket. That's not a rocket. It's a... a, a rotten refuse receptacle. You've completely wrecked my beautiful wind-powered water feature. Wind-powered, did you say? Hmm. Wind-power could be the very thing I need to launch me Denterprise Mark II. Well, if you're sure you want to give me her lunch, that's very helpful of you, Dennis. Forget Mum's homemade parsnip puree. What you need, be is big beans. <laughs> are good for the heart and help to make me rocket start. Eat up, B. I don't get it, Jen. What's the plan? It's very simple, Curly. I'm experimenting with new sources of energy. Have you never heard of wind power? Fascinating. I shall have to keep an eye on this young man. OK. Let's get this rocket off the ground. Was that the mayor I just saw? I'm very keen to show him my wind-powered water feature. I had to rebuild it, all thanks to you, Dennis. Walter, look, your foot. Ah, uh -huh. you noticed my new homemade eco-trainers. <laughs> That idea. Where am I going to find another new source of energy for me rocket? Ah, 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 ah yes. Oh, not only am I getting fit, I'm, I'm, I'm providing all the energy for every electrical device in the house. Oh. Pedal power. Nice one, Dad. Nasha, after I launch Denterprise 2, you'll be heading for the stars. Huh? This is the way forward, Nasha. Pedal power! Pedal power? This boy is a shining beacon of energy efficient excellence. I spoke too soon. Well, Nasha, looks like we'll have to put your first space flight on the back burner. <sighs> Wait till the mayor sees this lot. He'll be over the moon. Unlike you, Nasha. <laughs> oh, yes. This compost is going to make me a household name. <laughs> what a whiff. Remove your nose immediately, Dennis. I do not wish to contaminate my precious cargo. A 
barrel load of mouldy cabbage leaves and rotting apple cores? Not for very much longer. All this biodegradable material is soon to be fermented and recycled into biofuel to power my new eco-friendly combined cuckoo clock and cocoa maker. Biofuel what? You mean you can make fuel from stinky old fruit and veg? Indubitably. Any fuel knows that. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I need for the next phase of my menacing mission to Mars. Thank you. I'll take that. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> nice one. What the...? <laughs> it's that boy again. Incredible. He never stops. Now, what's that nitwit up to? OK, Nasha. Time to turn bruised beetroot and battered broccoli into biofuel. <laughs> With all this power, we'll be able to launch the whole shed into space. <laughs> Keep shoveling, Nasha. We need more energy. <laughs> Dennis, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I've been following his activities very closely. What a splendid eco-friendly example to all the young folk of Beano Town. It's not possible, is it? I have decided to award your son the town's highest honour, the Legion de Compost, for all his services to recycling and energy conservation. Dennis, the metal... I must be dreaming! So, where is uh, the hero of the hour? Well, I, I, I think he's out the back, in the shed. OK. Helmet's on. <laughs> this is going to be awesome! Prepare for ignition and blast off! Oh, what? Who's that? Congratulations, young man! Uh, what? As Mayor of Beano Town, I would like to thank you for all your hard work and devotion to the cause of recycling and energy conservation. Oh, hooray! But, but, Mr Mayor, I protest. What about my wind-powered water feature? And my... Shush, Walter. Uh, great. Thanks. Gotta go! <laughs> Anxious to get back to your work, eh? But first, the presentation. No, but I need to... Oh! <laughs> and so, it gives me great pleasure to award you, Dennis, this special medal, which, naturally, has been recycled from old milk bottle tops and tin well done, good Dennis! Lot, lot, good lad! Uh, thanks, great. Goodbye! <laughs> He's so modest, isn't he? We must have a photograph now. And you're not to stop working until you've cleaned up every inch of the town! Great. Instead of sweeping across the universe, I'm stuck here sweeping up the street. Ah, Dennis, since you're so fond of recycling, you'll be glad to hear that I'm recycling your pocket money for the next five years to pay for all the damage you've caused. Oh! Well, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, dear, Dennis. Talk about coming down to earth with a bump. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, that's what I call coming down to earth with a bump. Welcome home, boy. You're the world's first astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
magic. <laughs> oh, what is? Wow, what a nice pool. Uh, yes, isn't it smashing? <laughs> How about to swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? Hi, <sighs> are you boys? You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Dash, dash, dash. <laughs> too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Needs a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! My old pogo stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads! Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha! Uh, uh, the heavier we are, the better! Room for one more! And me! That's right, lads! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Den. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Den? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water around here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... <laughs> 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 saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. <laughs> Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping gators, a piranha, abandon ship. Retreat! Retreat! Ha-ha! We've got the Colonel on the run. Now, all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Oof. Oh, well. 
At least it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on. This looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. I think emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the van? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Known. He's on to us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, you hooligans. I know you're down here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> have gone that way unless oh Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent well he, he won't fool me this time <laughs> Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Oh, yeah, we've waited. 
for them to do the parkour. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. Yay! <laughs> Hang on, where's all the fun stuff? Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved because it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! On me, Ed, five face! I got it, I got it! Come on this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with parky bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies be picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> This is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Fancy a game, Dennis? Don't push your luck. Chess in the park. Rally the troops! Fire cannons! Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park! Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Oh, those park daisies, madam. Oh, um, um... No battles! I'm not having it! Now, clear off, or I'll have the law on the lot of you. Go on! You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? <laughs> Dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Well, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <gasps> it's a pond! Oh my! <laughs> it's a pond monster! <laughs> <laughs> Ten boys! <laughs> this can't happen! Not on the first day! Oh, oh, here, get back! Here! Can't you see the signs? <laughs> <laughs> That's fixed him! Full speed ahead! <laughs> are all about. Come on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that football game we've waited a year for. Right then, time for kick-off. Did you see the monster, young man? Monster? Uh... Oh, hang on, there's Walter and Parky Bowles. 
daughter. How does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of the monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowls, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go. How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words. This is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes. Thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parky. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> we crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation, then, eh? A what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here ah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Oh, well, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. <laughs> Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why has mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see. Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Uh, let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Yeah, trying to trash my lovely park. <laughs> is Parky Bowls right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxers. Gosh, looks like you were right, Parky Bowls. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You're right, Nasha. We've lost the Colonel. Yeah, you see. This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains. And... <gasps> What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on! Over there! There's something in the bushes! This tin can doesn't even have flippers! <laughs> you mean flippers like those? <laughs> yes! Exactly like that! Ah! A monster! Ah! Ah! Stay away from Beano Town Park! There are real live monsters here! Stay away from Beano Town Park! Leg it! <laughs> I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds. <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back. And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either. No, indeed. <laughs> Oh, that mangy cur. Scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 